um, recording in progress. Uh, just uh, we stopped on the structure of methane. We are looking at the uh, bowling theory of the uh, of the hybridization. How is those bonding is coming together? So if you look at this, we have methane, correct? So methane, we know the CH4. That's a methane. So if you are asked, what is methane? What is the hybridization in uh, of methane between carbon and hydrogen? Well, it turns out to be, somebody will tell me what's the shape of this? The shape of this is, if you look at the, uh, the uh, E central atom, X4, correct? That will be what? The shape is tetrahedral. So the shape is tetrahedral means the carbon, carbon, hydrogen, guys, 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 guys. Guys, guys, hydrogen, hydrogen, hydrogen. The angle here, the angle is how much? Is 109.05. The angle is between hydrogen, the top, carbon, the middle, hydrogen, that's a tetrahedral, correct? And the angle is 109 degrees. Now, from this here, I can determine the hybridization. So if I have 109 degrees and I have tetrahedral, the hybridization of this, so out of this information I have, I can get the hybridization to be on carbon. Carbon has SB3. SB3. So SB3 has to be what has to be tetrahedral. All this information, you have it. So, and then you have from hydrogen, hydrogen just have one S. So one S, one S. So carbon will contribute to the bonding with SP3 hybrid and will uh, clone itself with the orbital of hydrogen one S, one S. So if you look at the whole thing is, is will be the hybrid here, will be, look at the whole thing, will be SB3, SB3 here, SB3, let me just take this one here. So, SB3, this is SB three dash S. So dash S. So the hybridization of of uh, methane is SP three. That's from the carbon and S. So from the um, it started with Lewis. Lewis has some problems with explaining the whole theory of hybridization. However, then it will come back to his contribution because if I know it's tetrahedral, it has to be sp3 on carbon, on the central atom, correct? And the just the terminal atom will, will contribute whatever it has of valence electrons. If it's oxygen, it will be sp, uh, b orbital, empty b orbitals. If it's uh, nitrogen, b orbitals. If it's hydrogen, s orbital. So this is the bonding here or the hybridization or the cloning between bonds is sp3 dash s s from hydrogen and sp3 from the carbon and the uh, sp3 means you have shape of tetrahedral the angle is 109 the angle is 109 let's take the second one that's another example so let's take the other example here Structure of methane. Okay, so 
if you look at the um, if you look at the uh, the structure of methane, let's look at the structure of ethane. Well, what's ethane? Ethane is two carbons together. So if you look at this, and uh, we want to have this, uh, it is. You have C H three C H three, but it's not really like this. It has to be carbon carbon, and then you have three hydrogens in each atom of carbon. So hydrogen here, hydrogen here, hydrogen here, hydrogen here, hydrogen here. This way of writing called ex expanded. Uh, structure, expanded view of the structure, that's expanded, and this one here called condensed. So this is condensed, condensed, and this is expanded structure of ATA. Oops, it's too long out. So this is expanded. This now the question is if I have C. Uh, let me just. If I have C and C, and then all those three, I'm writing in expanded way. So what your intuition will tell you, you have one carbon, correct? And then you have this hydrogen all over the place. So you have two types of hybridization or cloning of bonding. One is between carbon, carbon, the second one between carbon and hydrogen. So let's change the color here. Let's change the color. So here it is. So this is the first one, and this is the second one. All of them, I mean, you can name it. This all this, all this here, all this, all this, and all this. So it turns out to be between carbon and carbon, we have. Remember, this is tetrahedral, and that's another. This is a tetrahedral. A B A B four, three three terminals of hydrogen, and the rest, the rest can be determined as another group. So this is still A B four or E B four, E B four, whatever. So this is tetrahedral. So the carbon carbon will be among them is. SB3 dash SB3. Correct? So the carbon carbon connection SB3, SB3. The carbon hydrogen, though, carbon hydrogen, as we said before, SB3 from carbon and S from the hydrogen. So this is, if you are asked, Carbon, carbon, and ethane, or carbon, hydrogen. Between carbon and hydrogen is sp3 s. Between carbon and carbon, sp3 sp3. And it is tetrahedral. It is 109.5 the angle. So I I did not so from from the uh, using using Lewis structure I can determine what type of hybridization I'm dealing with. Correct. So let's take another one. Let's take another one. Take another one here. How about SB2 orbitals? Well, it turns out to be anytime I have SB2 orbitals, I have to have the, uh, I have to have anytime I have here, let me just, uh, let me have this one here. Let's just change the color. SB2. As I said, sp3, write it down here. This is what? For single bond. Single bond. sb2, leave it or not, this is double bond.
SB, this is triple bond. Triple bond. So uh, if I have SB2, this is a double bond. So the angle here the, of, of this one here, let me just switch to another color. It is, this is 109.5 degrees. This is 120, the double bond, correct? And this is 180 degrees. So this is linear and SB. This is trigonal planner, trigonal planner. And this is tetra tetrahedral. So let me repeat it myself. SP3, it is a tetrahedral, correct? It is a tetrahedral, and the angle is 109.5 degrees. SP2, and this is single bond. SP2, double bond. Is a trigonal planner and the degree at the 120, correct? The uh, SB uh, by itself, this is uh, linear, 180 degrees, and uh, the shape, as I said, uh, linear. So from this information, I can build a lot of stuff here. So let me take this one here and look what's hybridization of the SB2. We did mention this one, correct? So it depends on. Look at the uh, carbon, this is for carbon. So if you have a carbon S for SP2, so the two S's and two B's, so it will be one of this here, one of this has to go, let me hear. These guys, one of this here, one of the has to go up, correct? So if you go up, then you will have, one will go all the way up. So you will have, and one will have reside. So you see, one, this is S. Sorry, this is, does not want to. This is S here. And those are the two, are B2, correct? One of the B2 is, is out, this one here is kicked out, although there's a top to an empty PZ, an empty what? PZ. So this is an empty orbital of P. We kicked out this one here. This one here is making what? It's making the double bond. This by itself in the top is making the double bond. So the B orbital, the B orbital by itself makes the double bond. The SB2 here, those here, SP2 makes what the uh, make the single bond, correct? But all in all, the structure of it will be the trigonal planner, and the angle is 120. And it is uh, between carbon carbon. So we have two types of hybridization. Between carbon carbon, each carbon will have SP2, correct? Dash SP2. So here it is. This is carbon carbon hybridization or cloning. Correct? Now, if I look at the carbon hydrogen, on the other hand, guess what? It will be SB2 from the carbon. And from hydrogen itself, it has just S. So S. So now we know S only S. So we have two types of. You don't like it, I said, you can leave. Please be my guest and leave. Not bother. I am bothered when you are talking. I'm not bothered. I don't like whatever you hear, the door is open. Please. So, um, as I said, carbon, carbon, each one will contribute sp2, sp2. Carbon, hydrogen, sp2 on the carbon, and hydrogen will have what? S. From one S from hydrogen. 
So we have two types of cloning or hybridization, two types. Carbon, carbon, SB2, and this is double bond. The double bond coming from the fact that one, here it is, let me just take them out. The double bond coming from the fact, the side to side uh, interaction, this one here, this is here causing the double side, the double bond, side to side interaction. See here, those are, the, those are making the double bond, the P orbitals in each carbon. Those are the empty, those filled. And this is when they, when you make cloning them, this is the double bond coming on the top from the P orbital here. Filled, just each carbon will contribute with one. And then you have here two, if you look at this, they have two, so they have they have two valence electrons. So let's look at this. Let's look at this. Um, this is what we said: sp2, sp2. The same thing with with uh, the double bond. We have uh, double bond sp2, sp2 on carbon and sp2s on carbon hydrogen. So let's do for uh, for ethylene. Ethylene is the same thing. Ethylene has the structure of, here it is, guys. Here it is. Ethylene has double bond carbon, and you have hydrogen here. You have hydrogen here. Those of type of question I saw in the past, those are um, concept-wise. They don't ask you for calculations. Just to ask you, the hybridization on carbon to carbon on carbon to the other side, what's hybridization? So since it's a double bond, so it has to be what? SB2. Since this is, this is double bond here, so your answer is, your answer is, oops, sorry. Your answer is, this is SB2. Okay, that's double bond. You have a double bond, you have to have sp2. That's a must. So the, your answer in the multiple choices when they ask, it has to be SP, sp2, correct? It has to be sp2. So now let's look at the other one. We went through all this together. Now, that's just to tell you this is side to side. And there is a multiple choices even in the test bank asking the the foundation of the double bond from where? Well, your answer will be, look at this, will be side to side. Here it is. This is, take this one here. This one here, the side to side interaction yield to double bond. Side to side interaction, uh, not the side side. Yeah, the side side, but this is vertical. Those are vertical. But when you have the side to side here, here, this one in the middle here, this is horizontal interaction, side to side horizontal. And this is from side to side vertical. The interaction the vertical will lead double bond and the sigma bond, the double, the sigma bond, single bond is from the horizontal interaction of the, the two uh, two um, uh, the two orbitals. So you can see here, ethylene has the same thing here, double bond. And um, if you look at the two um, hybridization, here this two, and here hydrogen, and here's hydrogen. So you have S, B, two, this one sp2 so the interaction between carbon carbon sp2 carbon hydrogen is this is s so it will be s sp2 s and those are two will be sp2 correct and the angle is 120 degrees the, ang the angle is 120 degrees so look at this again so here it is Now we are looking at SB orbital. SB orbital is, is linear, correct? So we said SB orbital here, 
Anytime I have SB, I have what? I have the shape is linear and the angle is 180 degrees. So linear and the shape is, shape is this, the angle is 180. 180 degrees. So, so what happens in SP? So you have one sigma bond, SP, SP. So how many we have? We have three types of bonding. One is between carbon and carbon. So carbon, carbon, you have. Carbon and carbon, you have. Carbon and carbon here. This is SB to SB, hybridization or cloning. Correct? But then you have two double bonds, two empty, uh, I mean, or filled uh, interaction of double bond. One is the Z1, correct? And this is BZ on the top, BZ. And one is the PY. And this carbon is PY. So PY here. So when they interact, the two ones here. So that this another, this is the first single bond, side to side. And this one here, the second one is here. So you have, you have two double bond and one single bond. The one single bond is made of SB, SP hybridization. The one in the top would be SB, if that's hydrogen, would be one S. If that's oxygen, would be B orbital. Depending what's the valence electron, what's the atom is connected to carbon. So this is the way you can think. If this is the case, this is B orbital. This is uh, you know empty. That makes the double bond between between the the um, the triple bond. So let's look at this again. So. And here, can you see it? This is your SP, SP. Maybe I will just put it up a little bit. You can see it much better. So you can see it now. Now, this is the carbon, carbon is SP, SP. Carbon, carbon is SP, SP. And then the double bond, you have the BZ on carbon, as it's not taken by anything. And then you have the, the sideways, correct? So this is, and then you have the hydrogen will come on one of the, you have, this is ethylene, this is ethylene, acetylene. This is C2H4. But if I look at acetylene, it will be double. This is, this is the structure of ethylene. So let me take, let me take this one. What will be the bonding of, Beryllium hydride, beryllium hydride. So we have beryllium here. Let me just take it out here. Okay, so if I look at this, beryllium, although it's a metal, but sometimes can, can make, what will be uh, the hybrid between Beryllium and hydrogen. Somebody will tell me what will be. It is linear, correct. This is linear. So from this, I can tell this angle is what? 100 what? 180 degrees. Perfect. So linear means we have hybridization is what? SB. So this is SB. This will come with one S. So the hybrid here is I have SB dash S. S from hydrogen and the beryllium will have SB. So can you see that? Yes. Correct, correct, because that will will, will dictate what the, the, the structure, so this, the shape will dictate the, the bonding because SB is dictated to be linear. SB3 will be tetrahedral and SB2 will be trigonal blank.
SB always single bond. SB two double bond. SB uh, SB will be triple bond. SB three a single bond. SB three single. SB two double. SB by itself that's uh, that's the, that is a triple bond. But here we have only single bond. We don't have triple because hydrogen is, is exception for the rule. Correct. But still, it's SB though. It's still what SB? That's the linear uh, point. So let's look. Let's look at another one. Okay. Hybridization of nitrogen and oxygen. Well, it looks like from nature. We don't know why. Hydrogen. I mean, always single bonded. Correct. When it comes to oxygen, then though, uh, let me just. Uh, when it comes to oxygen. It's very unique. Oxygen will always will have double bond, believe it or not. Oxygen connect itself most of the time, double bond, and uh, hybridization of the double bond is SB2, correct? Double bond will be SB2. Nitrogen, on the other hand, from nature, that's by nature here, Goes to be likes to be in triple bond. Triple bond will be S B. So you can you can tell on carbon on the other hand, if you look at the carbon, carbon likes to be single bonded most of the time. Will be S S B three. So S B three is single. SB2 is double, SB is triple, correct? It's triple. Are you following me here? Now I can I can I can go further and say let's let's look at some of this here. Let's look at here. Let's look at um, at CO2. Let's look at carbon dioxide. Okay, so let's look at carbon dioxide. And this is very famous questions even in the test banks. So this is so. What is the um, hybridization or cloning on carbon? With oxygen. So it turns out to be this is what? Linear, correct? This is linear, AB2 or, or EX2. So there's no no bear, that's linear. So this is linear here, correct? The angle is 180. This is angle here from between oxygen, carbon, oxygen, 180 degrees, correct? Well, it ask yourself, what's, what, what's wrong? We, if we, we know linear, so then the carbon here will be what? When we said linear, will be what? SB. The oxygen, on the other hand, is double bonded, so the oxygen will come as SB, oops, So here it is. We have this. So this is two electrons, two electrons, and this is linear, 180. So it's not linear, but it, it has to be linear. So 180 degrees. So because this is linear, the carbon tends to have always SB to make linear stuff. The oxygen makes what? Double bond, SB2. However, the oxygen since that's the, the hybrid, but the oxygen here does not contribute uh, with, with the whole oxygen. It contributes with its, um, with its, um, it is SB2. 
but the 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 interaction is not sb uh sb uh sb sb2 you have to watch for this action does not really hybridize itself fully to the terminal central atom does hybridize itself this is correct however this one here is not really sb2 it connects itself to the p orbital of oxygen so the orbital of oxygen if you look at the oxygen is uh, valence electron 2s2 2p4 six six valence electrons correct so one of those uh un uh, un uh, uh, unreacted or less reactive valence electron will come and couple itself with the carbon to make the double bond so one of them here the b orbital here the bz for example will make with one of the carbon so you will see those those carbon makes first a single bond but then those here the interaction is between those two in this and this the p orbital to make the double bond one not, not between this 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 and this so those are the p orbital between carbon so it will be sb b z sb b z so sb b cloning between carbon and oxygen so sb is the uh, the uh, carbon and the oxygen will contribute with side to side um overlap with its available p orbital correct so let's look at the, some of the example here look at some of the examples nitrogen i say it's always a triple bond love to be a triple bond and uh, whenever it's any nitrogen, you need a lot of tremendous energy when they react, react exothermic. And most of the nitrogen compounds are highly explosive, highly, very highly explosive because their triple bond is very stable. When you break it down, it brings you a lot of headache with it. So the nitrogen and oxygen is double bond. Uh, oxygen, most of the oxygen is in, in double bond. So now here is just to tell you how this the whole thing is the overlap sigma and bi bond so side to side horizontal interaction overlap just bring you sigma horizontal side side to side horizontally that's sigma the bi will come from the overlap uh, overlap from the what the B or the B unused B orbitals, it has a valence electrons in it, the side to side vertical interaction. So sigma is, is horizontal and the P orbital is vertical. Here, just give an example of CO2, correct? Can you see it? So carbon to oxygen here, this is an oxygen. Oxygen has BX and BZ, correct? So the unused here is B, B, Y. We can't say B, Z. This, it does not really matter. So here it is the oxygen we contribute with one is not reacting. One of the, the B, Z is connected to carbon, correct, to make this uh, sigma bond. And the B side to side will make a, the double bond, the double bond between side to side. Can, can you see them here? Let me, let me just put that for you. So here, if you look at this and this, this is a double bond, correct? And for carbon here, here and here, there's another another side to side. Uh, all those are vertical. Even if it does look like this for the uh, y axis, but those are still vertical, not horizontal. The horizontal one that makes the sigma bond here. That makes the sigma bond. So let me take it out so you can see it again. So visualize the whole thing. So you have bi bond between carbon and oxygen, between the p orbital of, uh, of oxygen and the uh, empty orbital of carbon, the p orbital. And then the same thing with the, with the second oxygen. And the, the whole thing here is, is still the, the sigma bond is made of Sb2, Sb2 for on the carbon. SB2 um, carbon, this is uh, 
that's carbon oxide. No, that's SB, sorry, not SB2. That's linear, correct? SU2 is linear. So this is SB. So if I don't know the structure, I go and look at the formula of the shape. What's the shape of CO2? This is linear. So it has to be what? On carbon, I have to have SB. So here it is. So just ask yourself here, carbon is because it's linear. So it is linear here. So because it's linear, then I have to have carbon is linear, this is SB, SB hybrid. And then the unused uh, B orbital of oxygen will make the double bond. Okay, so as I said, those questions in the test bank and in the final exam are, are made concept. There's no calculations or anything, just concept. Now, what we have here, if you look, this structure here will have, you tell me what the, the structure of this. This is linear, correct? And this is two electrons here. Okay, so let me take the other one here out. Okay, so, so, so this is what, again, if this is your, your um, central atom, correct? This is the, um, the terminals. So this is E, no lone pair on the carbon, EX2, and this is what, as you said, linear, that's correct. So this is linear. So now, because it is linear, sorry about this, I'm writing with the mouse. So the angle here between carbon and nitrogen is how much? 180 degrees. So 180 degrees. So what will be the hybridization on carbon? Central atom, that's our central atom. What will be the hybridization? It's linear, will be what? SB2, SB or SB3? We said, let me repeat, SB3 is single bond. SB2, double bond. SB, triple bond. So this one will be what? On carbon, has to be, has to be SB3, correct? has to be sp3 on carbon and then whatever on nitrogen nitrogen the same thing is to look will contribute because the terminal atom will contribute with the p orbital same like hydrogen the same like oxygen they don't contribute with the uh, with the whole thing so this one will be here this is sp3 sp3 and this is and and for p orbital, whether it's x or y or z, whatever you name it, I like to put it with z. So s, back again, s b three p orbital. You don't, I mean, you don't have to specify specify where that it is. Can be x, can be y, can be z. But I like to see p z because that is from the top vertical. So that's, I can put this one here, Z. So vertical uh, interaction. So you have double, two double bonds and one single bond. And this is the hybridization between those together. This is sigma is made of the, this making sigma bond and the interaction with the BZ here with the unfilled of the PY of the carbon will make the double, the two double bonds. So. And as I said, this is linear. From the linear uh, linear shape, I can determine the angle is 180, and therefore it is has to be triple bond. So make yourself a piece of uh, flashcard. SB linear angle is 180, and this triple bond. SB2 this is trigonal planar, correct? The angle is 120. 
and it's a double bond, correct? And then sp3 is tetrahedral, 10905, and it is single bond. Make sense? Okay, guys, good. As I said, those are coming as a concept for us in the test bank and in the final exam. So they'll ask you, what is the um, what is the shape? of this molecule inside, I mean, inside, the, what is the hybridization or cloning of the bonding inside this molecule? So always the central atom will take first priority. The terminals always contributing with the P orbital. If they are central atom, not carbon, then yes, then you look at the whole picture. So, but since we use the carbon as an example, so carbon will have the uh, SP, SP2, SP3, correct? So now the last topic, which is the most um, uh, interactive topic, and you can see it, um, uh, it's not covered inside ACS exam, by the way, guys. It's not covered. So if you are asked for this, I don't think they, they come. But the molecular orbital theory, one of the best, even better than hybridization, is using the hybridization. This one show you the molecular bonding and non-bonding orbital. So it does really show you the in details. So it show you that the, the bonding as, as really as as, uh, as orbitals, if they are bonding, they have, they have the same, see here, they're adding themselves up. If they are anti-bonding, they subtract themselves. Like you have two waves, two orbitals as a wave, as electro, electron density found in this, in this uh, wave. So if they are anti-bonding, means they are not, not, not bound to any. They are orphans. They're staying in the space without any interaction with the others, other valence electrons. But if they are re reducing or contributing to a bond, then they will add themselves up. You can see those, those waves. Now, do you see this one here? Or do we see, or we will see? Well, it depends. It's all these mathematical calculations, by the way. Nobody has seen this, but this is just based on the statistical and mathematical calculations. So, um, this is the diagram here of hydrogen, correct? Now, hydrogen has one S, correct? One S1, one, one, one valence electrons. When it comes to two hydrogen, will come together here. If you look at this, hydrogen will come here with one S. This is one S. This is one S here. See here the one S here? This is one S. This is hydrogen. So what's happened is this will combine those, those two from two hydrogen atoms will combine themselves. So sigma, sigma bonding, this one down called bonding because they, they add themselves up, correct? And in the top is sigma star or non-bonding. Those are non-bonding. They don't add themselves up, non-bonding. But since we have non-bonding, correct? Since we have only two, each hydrogen will come with one electron. So you can see this is one here. This is the second here. So hydrogen will have one, S2, correct? This is the molecular orbital of hydrogen. So those are in the sigma, correct? Sigma means sort of single bond, and the pi is double bond. So you can see thus hydrogen will end up having what? Double bond. And I uh, added this one to you here just to see it. Let's look at nitrogen, uh, oxygen. Well, oxygen, the valence electron of oxygen, just to know, valence electron of oxygen is 1s2, correct? That's not the valence electron. 2s2, 2p, how much? How much is it? Four, six, correct? In the sixth group. So this is. This is 
valence electrons. We are interested in this valence electron. We are not interested in this. This one called core, or very close to the uh, uh, nucleus. So we are not interested in, in this. Now look at this. We have each oxygen will come up with 2s2, 2p4, correct? So that the, the 2p has four, the 2s has 2s from this oxygen. 2s from the second oxygen, 2s here, two electrons, and the 2p4. So now it looks like the s will make the single bond. So s's are making what? The single bond. So here the s will split in s. This time 2s, not uh, what we have in hydrogen 1s. This is in hydrogen we have 1s, 2s. So, and we have four, it's full, correct? This is two. So two and two, four, two here and two unbonding. So here it is. So uh, oxygen O2 has the molecular orbital of sigma uh, two, correct? S two. This is the bonding one, which is those here. Now I include this one here, which is sigma two, two s, but this time I will add star. This means this is anti-bonding, higher in energy, anti-bonding, correct? Those are higher uh, in energy. So now the four one, they will start splitting. They will start what splitting? So here it is, sigma, they'll make a sigma here at the bottom with two. The sigma on the four oxygen is empty. Then you have the sigma, sigma, single bond. Then you have the uh, by the double bond. This is Bx and By, we can, we can take this one out. See here, B, uh, Px and py so those are two orbitals here this is py and this is px so we have four four we have filled those four those are eight correct four and here's two the sigma bond here those are six and the two is coming by themselves, that's anti-bonding, higher in energy. So those are by themselves. That will give us, from this I can tell that oxygen, oxygen is what? Para magnetic. Para what? Magnetic. Now, if you look at the, at the if you look guys at the, um, Lewis, Lewis um, has difficulties in the two making uh, making um, bi bonding, anti bonding of the bi non bonding bi bond, but two elect the two valence electrons parallel to each other, not coupling with each other. This is called paramagnetic. On the other hand, if you look at the oxygen, I mean at nitrogen. Totally different story. Look at this. I have S is one S2, correct, for, for nitrogen, five, two S2, correct, two P, three. So this is This is our valence electrons, five, correct? So this is the S, we are not interested in this. This we can, we can neglect. This one we are not interested in, the one S, that's the core. This called what the core, very close to the, the nucleus. It's not really interacting with anything. The nucleus is attracting it like a magnet. So it's not moving nowhere. So the one S2, the two valence electrons, they are really, it's called core. They have negligence of importance, nothing. So this is called core here. So what's here is the balance electron is 2s, 
and 2p. So how many we have? Each one will contribute five. So we have to accommodate 10 long, what? 10, uh, 10 electrons, correct? 10 electrons. Now, if you look like this, so this is 2s, 2s2, correct? This is 2s2. We are accommodating this. And this is 2b3. See here, look at this. This is 2s2. This is 2sp3. This is 2b3. Can you see that? So now we can have first, reduce first the pi, uh, the opposite of opposite. We reduce the pi, the pi bond, correct, from each. So from those, we have what we said, we said three and the two S's are here. Those are single bond. Those making single bond here. This is our single bond. Single bond, correct? Now, if you look at this, if you look at the SB, uh, SB3 here, it has three, uh, valence electron it has three. So take those two, from each, that's four. We have, we have how many? We have six. So four, and then this here, the by uh, non-bonding. This is bonding here, correct? The non-bonding empty. The sigma non-bonding empty, and the two left is sigma two p z uh, bonding. So it's they have two electrons. So nitrogen is predicted from the molecular to be what? Para or diamagnetic is what? Diamagnetic. See here? With with the um, with the uh, uh, Lewis, we have a problem with Lewis uh, uh, theory here, uh, paramagnetic. So it, it cannot predict, it cannot predict the diam or paramagnetic. And this is a physical property will tell us if if the, uh, uh, if the uh, element is attracted to magnetic field or rebelling the magnetic field. So nitrogen is what is not attracted to a uh, to magnetic field. Para, yes, it has a two unpaired electrons. So you will see those are all, all those are empty. Now, if somebody will ask you this in the, the final sum or the, I'm not asking those in the How this is uh, molecular theory is by far is the modern uh, bonding theory theory which is really uh, based on calculations and you can see how nice they can pre predict if the interaction is diamagnetic or or paramagnetic in in a single bond or triple bond or double bond so you can see this so last thing here and let's see. I'm sure if this is taken or not. Maybe it's not taken, but it's okay. Summary. Um, I'm trying if we finish, then you can go and then to the I don't know if we have a hold on, hold on. So that you go and then put your name for the extra credit, but I don't see anyone outside. So a summary. Organic chemistry, we talked about organic chemistry, we talked about the hybridization, cloning, and we talked about how the um, Swiss uh, started doing the molecular structure. Predicted a lot of uh, stay and um, lots of stuff, especially the resi residency of the valence electrons and the shape of the molecules as well. Correct. However, uh, he failed um, in some areas when it comes diamagnetic, paramagnetic, and he did not uh, grasp the the hybridization, the cloning, how does those bonding are formed. But his contributions. Nevertheless, 
uh, was and is and will be the best contribution really. So because he opened up the door for the new uh, modern molecular orbital theory, which is really tell us more about this bonding since they are interacting and then non-bonding, there is orbital empty, correct? So you can extend, you can add to this and make more compounds. So you can calculate theoretically how much you will add to those empty ones. Remember the empty ones here, we have them, uh, empty orbitals, anti-bonding, you can add to them. So this is the molecular orbital will not go through if, if Lewis did not really contribute. Lewis contributed tremendously in this uh, indirect, but then he, he stopped short on, on explaining this hybridization and and, and, and uh, diamagnetic paramagnetic, some of the physical properties. Um, sigma by and, and, and uh, sigma is always coming from the fact that you have a single bond, which is the SP hybridization. Bi is coming from SB2 um, hybridization, which is trigonal planar, and S, uh, SB is linear, and the SB3 is tetrahedral, which is, um, which is, um, uh, SB is, is, the uh, SB is, um, so we said the SB3 is a single, correct? Tetrahedral, and the SB is triple. The SB is triple bond. So that's uh, a nitrogen is loves to have a tri uh, triple bond. Oxygen loves to have single bond. Chlorine, all the hydrogens, they cannot, in a very rare situation, they can have this uh, the double bond. Triple bond is impossible. So they love to be in a single bond. They're very active single bonds. So this is. Uh, ammonia has uh, NH3, hybridization SP3, and then whatever is the atom is hydrogen will contribute with the P, with the S, oxygen with, with the P orbitals. Whatever the terminal is, will have P or S orbital contribution to the central atom. We are always interested in the central atom. So this is the whole, the whole, um, the whole, uh, the whole thing here. And I will stop here.